Today on Toy Shoes, we got some evil marshmallows to blast. Let's talk toys. Welcome back, everyone. Toy Shoes here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look. And today, we are totally checking out the brand new Hasbro Ghostbusters Afterlife. <laughs> this is the mini puffed popper. Sorry, I had to laugh. It's just kind of ridiculous. This kid's having a blast, by the way. He's wearing goggles. I'm gonna tell you right now, if you get a kiddo, watch their eyes on this one. Side of the box shows you some ghost busting artwork and then how the gun actually works. It's just load in mini puffed and shoot it out. <laughs> the back side of the box shows the gun. It's not the best packaging. I gotta be honest with you. It's so just humdrum. It's Ghostbusters. Let's see some cool ghost busting packaging, right? Here's the barcode as well so this is gonna be fun sit back relax grab yourself a nice hot cup of cocoa big enough you know put some marshmallows in there none of those little teeny tiny ones awful taste to those things i don't know why it's marshmallows right it should taste the same so anyways this is a look at the brand new ghostbusters afterlife mini puffed popper by hasbro and of course here's the mini puffed popper with the mini puffs popping out of the packaging and it looks pretty cool. I gotta say, if you haven't already caught on, if you're getting some Ecto-1 vibes from this whole mini puffed popper, yeah, I think you're spot on. But the real fun, of course, is these little mini puffs. They got adorable little faces, great marketability. That's how this is gonna go from now on. And if you're kind of thinking the same thing I am, they're kind of like the finger pop fiends from the old Kenner Ghostbusters line, right? But they're cute, they're adorable, they're squishy, and they load right into the gun. You get the grumpy, frowny, fat-faced one, too. <laughs> they're cool for what they are. I kind of wish now that they had the designs on both sides. I think that would have been fun. Or just had six designs, right? Each side has two different faces. You get the tongue sticking out face. Kids can put them on their fingers and be ghosts and whatnot. But the gun is pretty cool itself. Really nice paint overall. I gotta give it to on this, nice and bright. And again, it's got the ladder, it's got all the little wires and the gizmos and the tape and the Ghostbusters symbol. And of course, it's got like the front end of the car and the top of the car. And of course, with the blues and the reds, it's very real Ghostbuster-ish. All the mini puffs ammo, when you're not using it, just simply stores right there at the top of the gun. And that's very cool. And on the other side, you see more paint, really just red plastic, white plastic, and certain elements that bring forth the Ecto-1 look. And this is how you're gonna fire the gun. Right here at the orange tipped front, you blast the air. This thing will fit right into there. We'll get the one sticking its tongue out. Let's get a ghost going and then we're gonna blast it, right? We gotta trap the ghost or just hit it with a marshmallow. <laughs> Boom, bullseye. When was the last time it worked right off the bat like that? Fairly simple, fairly straightforward, and yes, having ammo storage at the top is very nice. You just simply cock the gun, and it fires out a marshmallow, and it's simple as that. I think kids will have a fine time doing it. We'll fire at the camera just to show you. <laughs> what you don't see on my end is three days trying to find that because it probably fell behind a cabinet, right? But I will say this for the kiddos, watch out for eyes, watch out for pets. You definitely don't want any ghost pets, am I right? When you stack these things up with older Ghostbuster figures, newer Ghostbuster figures, they are a bit like the old ghosts in that sense. Yes, they're little mini marshmallow men, but you can kind of see they're around the same scale. They're in that goofy sort of look, and they will fit nicely with old-fashioned Kenner ghosts. That's what I really like about them. You can have them eating the marshmallows or whatever, you know what I mean? But... With the Ecto-1, all the different elements, the Kenner Real Ghostbusters elements. Just saying, just pointing that out, the tip top right there with the blue. And let's use the new Fright Features Ecto-1 to show off the various Ghostbusters expressions. Heck, we can even fire a marshmallow at it just to show the durability. This gun's a lot of fun. <laughs> Look at this thing. It just like bounced up, hit the camera. It's wild, those marshmallows from that new movie. If you're wondering how it stacks up in accordance with other Ghostbusters tech that's been recently released, yeah, it's around the same size. Heck, even the old Ghostbuster traps and poppers and everything else do match up nicely. It's not the first time we've had popping things from Ghostbuster toys, am I right? But, in all sense, yes, this is a very fun Ghostbusters toy. I'm actually really enjoying this. 
the whole marshmallow faces is fun. It's uh, it's such a marketing tool, but dang it, they are adorable. Yeah, shakes fist. But I think you'll have fun with this. Kids will have fun. Again, safety features and all that abound. Just don't aim at your face or hit anybody in the face or anything like that. I wouldn't necessarily say this was what I was thinking in terms of Ghostbuster toys, but it is nice to kind of see them bringing back certain Kenner elements while adding new afterlife features like the faces and such. That's actually pretty smart. I'm surprised that Kenner never did something like that outside of the finger pop fiends. But I am curious to know what you guys think about this new Ghostbusters Afterlife mini puffed popper. Do you have one? Do you need to grab one? Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Ghostbusters Afterlife. Can't wait for that movie. But I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, Ghostbusters is right around the corner. And fingers crossed it does not get pushed back yet again. November 19th, baby, as of this video. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.